Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And so for you guys is another, wait, another, there we go, Lego the, uh, well, I guess the first, maybe? I don't quite remember. I think this is the first Lego the Hobbit game, uh, well, gameplay that I've ever done. And well, why am I playing Lego the Hobbit? One, it's a great game for all ages. Two, today, uh, September 22nd, 2020, is actual actually National Hobbit Day. So this is basically celebrating Bilbo Baggins and Frodo Baggins from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Now, you guys know it. I think uh, you guys know that Ninjago is my favorite franchise, and then it would be Star Wars, then Marvel, then DC, and then it's a tie between Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, Pirates, Jurassic, all the other good stuff. And, uh, man, I remember when... Uh, 2012, when, uh, TT Games announced Lego Lord of the Rings. I wasn't allowed to watch the Lord of the Rings, because, obviously, I wasn't... I don't think I was 13. And, of course, they are PG-13, which means not okay for kids. Uh, even though a lot of kids saw them, that that's the truth, they're not for kids. And, uh, you know, I was like, oh, cool, you know, it's an all-ages game, Lego Lord of the Rings, it'll tell the movies I can't see. And then I always, for some reason, I had this dumb bias where I'm like, oh, Lord of the Rings is dumb, it's for nerds. Meanwhile, my ass was watching, like, you know, effing Pokemon and crap like that. Also, this I hear about a dragon. Is that some kind of foreign delicacy? And then I'm like, oh, you know, I, I can't really play, you know, I can't really get into it because it's stupid and it's lame. And, you know, I was into Harry Potter at that time, so I'm like, oh, like, what, what was wrong with me? <laughs> I mean, I have no idea. I, it was weird. But basis is, is that Lego Lord of the Rings got me into the Lord of the Rings franchise. Stop doing that. Into the Lord of the Rings franchise. Whatever. And because of that, I got Lego Lord of the Rings. And I was like, damn, this is a good game. And then I'm like, wow, I better watch the Lord of the Rings movies. And they turn out to be absolutely freaking fantastic, as we all know. Uh, Lord of the Rings is one of the best trilogies ever put to cinema. And uh, today's a celebration of that. You know, to say mainly about the Hobbits and the race and the Hobbits and all that, but which is why I'm also in Hobbiton in this game. Uh, but Lego Lord of the Rings, you know, it told the story of the, the Fellowship of the Ring, the Two Towers, and Return of the King with a massive open world of Middle-earth. Well, what could get better, you know what I mean? And then Peter Jackson said, you know what, F it, I'm going to make a The Hobbit trilogy. And for some reason, not many people like The Hobbit trilogy. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, I think that uh, The Hobbit trilogy, just like The Lord of the Rings trilogy, they're Samwise Gamgee, looking a little bit different. Uh, but I do think that the the Hobbit trilogy is just as good, uh, if not maybe a little better than the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I know, crucify me. But honestly, uh, the Hobbit trilogy is flawless. I have no issues with it. I think that it's, like Lord of the Rings, essentially a perfect trilogy. And I'm glad Peter Jackson made it. So thank you, Peter, for the Lord of the Rings. Thank you, Peter, for the Hobbit. I appreciate it. And thank you, TT Games, for Lego the Hobbit. Yes, we all know the controversy that they didn't follow up with the Battle of the Five Armies movie and the DLC, all that crap, but, you know, gaming companies can say things all they want, but sometimes it doesn't happen because of budget constraints and they're forced to work on other games and they can't, you know, they don't have time. It's a whole thing. But basically, I thought, hey, I'll play Lego the Hobbit. It's a great game. Here's a little mini-map. Uh, there's not, you can't go everywhere here, but there are a lot of, uh, this game came out in 2014. And Lego Lord of the Rings came out in 2012. This game, as of 2014, was the biggest open world in a Lego game. And might I add, this is better than Lego Lord of the Rings, uh, as much as I love that game. But honestly, like I said today, man, I just love the Lord of the Rings. I love the Lego games. I love the books. I read The Hobbit. In fact, uh, when I went to my, uh, when I was in high school, I had to read, I was, I was actually forced to read The Hobbit, uh, book. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to read the Hobbit book. Why would I read that? You know, she gave us like four options. It was like some stupid crap and then the Hobbit. And I'm like, why the fudge would I not watch the Hobbit? Are you crazy, woman? So I read the Hobbit. And uh, honestly, the Hobbit is a little bit underwhelming. I don't think it's quite as good as, say, the Hobbit films. But I'm not going to play as a Hobbit. Uh, I'll play as uh, Mirkwood Elf Archer. Yeah, so I read the Hobbit book, and I'm like, eh, it's not as good as the films. But I guess a lot of the controversy for the Hobbit films is that uh, Thrandy Will is really only mentioned as an elven king. Toriel is not even a character in the book. Legolas is not in the book whatsoever. Azog, Bolg, a lot of the characters are new to, to fill in, because the Hobbit book isn't really that big. And, you know, Peter's like, how the hell do I make a 
you know, a, a short novel into a trilogy like I did Lord of the Rings. And, oh, that's how you, you know, you add things and you do th stuff like that. And uh, I thought it was a great trilogy, you know. So I do, I love Lord of the Rings. I love The Hobbit. I love the Lego games. I love Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I think that's a good game as well. Um, it's not the best. I think that this game, Lego The Hobbit, this game is the ultimate Middle Earth game so far. Again, I love Lego Lord of the Rings. Uh, a lot of the other Lord of the Rings games are kind of bad. Uh, there really aren't that many good ones. I know TT Games made some Aragorn's Quest game. I never played that. It didn't look good. Um, but this, in my opinion, Lego The Hobbit, this is the ultimate game for a Lord of the Rings or Hobbit fan. It's got great levels, awesome collectibles at 100% of the game. There's tons of collectibles, uh, tons of comedic value, a massive open world. I mean, look at these graphics, man. They're pretty freaking good. And uh, there's just so much to this game and so much to the canon that is, you know, the Middle-Earth franchise that, you know, it's a, it's a great thing. So I think... You know, I wasn't going to make a video, but then I'm like, hey, it's National Hobbit Day. And uh, honestly, I love The Hobbit. I love Lord of the Rings. I can't believe, um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I saw that, what was that movie? Was I think it was called Tolkien with uh, Nicholas, not Nicholas Cage, Nicholas Holt, who plays Beast in the X-Men films, the new X-Men films. Uh, I thought Tolkien was a good movie. You know, there's a lot of things to this franchise, just like Star Wars, Marvel, DC, whatever. Tons of crap, tons of, tons of names to memorize. Uh, you know, a bunch of stuff like that, and I still know everything about it, you know, it's still, I love Star Wars more, but man, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit is just, I mean, it's like millimeters away, you know what I mean, it's really hard for me to pinpoint that, but if I, if I had a gun to my head or a blaster, I would, I would say Star Wars, but, again, man, it, it's just such a great franchise, I think Amazon is doing some kind of Lord of the Rings show, I don't know what's going on with that, uh, but like I said, man, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit is such a great franchise, and I can't believe that, you know, I'm just honored that I live in a world where we can experience these books and these movies and these games. And we're getting a Gollum game next year for PS5 and Xbox Series X. Uh, it's going to be amazing. It really is. I cannot freaking wait for that. And uh, again, I'm grateful for Tolkien for what he did. And I'm very grateful for Peter Jackson and Philippa and all the other guys at Weta uh, who made the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogy. Uh, again, I will never understand the hate for the Hobbit trilogy. Freaking never. I think they're flawless films. Uh, and I actually read the Hobbit book, like I said, and I preferred the movies. Um, I don't hate the book, but if I had to choose, I'd easily watch a trilogy over one novel. Um, but still, uh, tell me what you're... This is going to be a bit of a shorter video, but less than 10 minutes. But again, guys, I just wanted to kind of play a little, bit, a little bit of Lego the Hobbit in the Shire, in Hobbiton. And uh, just, again, tell you guys, if you want me to make videos on Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, and play more Lego the Hobbit, or, uh, you know, just play Shadow of Mordor, kill some orcs, please tell me, because again... I love the Lord of the Rings, and I love The Hobbit. So, again, if you guys want content from that franchise, tell me in the comments. What do you think? Do you like Lord of the Rings? Do you like The Hobbit? Which trilogy do you like more? I don't want to see any gunfights in the comments. If you don't like The Hobbit, respectfully disagree. I don't have time for hate and bullcrap like that. Um, just like Star Wars, you know, I don't I don't really like haters. Um, but still, it's it's fun. I love it. You know what I mean? I can't wait to... my, my We and my... I can't even talk. Me and my friend are watching the Hobbit trilogy right now. We're going to go Hobbit 1, 2, 3, and the Lord of the Rings 1, 2, 3. And we already saw Hobbit 1 and 2. And uh, as you guys know, I'm up to Hilton Head for two weeks. And hopefully I can hang out with my uh, my buddy again. We can watch the Hobbit 3. And then we'll work on the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So again, you know, it's fun. You know, I didn't even know this was a, a coming up date. And uh, it's good timing because I'm watching The Hobbit right now. So I think it's a great franchise, and I can't wait to see what they do with it in the future. And, uh, I mean, man, these, this double trilogy with Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, they're legendary. This game is legendary, and the franchise itself is legendary. So thank you guys. Again, tell me in the comments what you like better, Lord of the Rings or Hobbit. Or do you like them both like me? And uh, have you played Lego The Hobbit? And which, which Middle Earth games have you played? Only the Lego games? Shadow of Mordor? I have not played Shadow of War. Should I get it? Thank you guys, and uh, yeah, I can't believe... This great franchise exists, and we'll see you guys in the next video.